it's Elise from Six Sisters Steph, and today I'm going to show you how to make our loaded broccoli salad. We love serving this at potlucks and barbecues, and it's really easy to throw together. So to start out, I'm going to cut the tops off this broccoli. So you'll want about four cups of broccoli florets. And if you wanted to cut this recipe in half, if you're just going to serve this for your family, that's great. But this is good for feeding a crowd, and everybody seems to love it. I never have any leftovers. so. I'm just gonna throw my broccoli into a big bowl. And you wanna make sure you're not putting too big of pieces in to your bowl because if little kids are eating this, they don't want a whole giant piece of broccoli in their mouth. So keep that in mind as you're putting your broccoli in to break some of those up into smaller pieces. Okay, so now that my broccoli is all added in, I'm going to use some pre-cooked bacon. If you have bacon on hand that you want to cook and crumble, then you can go ahead and do that. But for a shortcut, I just used some pre-cooked bacon from the store. I've got eight slices that is cooked and crumbled or cut into pieces. To that, I am adding a red onion that's been diced. And I've got four ounces of cubed cheddar cheese. And then a half cup of craisins. A third cup of chopped walnuts. And I've got a gala apple that has been diced. I left the skins on, but you could easily peel that if you wanted to. I've also got some shredded carrots. So this makes up the salad. We're gonna to just toss it together a little bit to mix it around. And then we're going to whisk together a really simple dressing. So for the dressing, I've got a half cup of plain Greek yogurt. Make sure it's not vanilla, don't let that flip into your cart of the store. And then a half cup of light mayo. If you wanted to do full fat mayo or if you like the taste of a Miracle Whip better, you could use that. And then I've got a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. So you'll just whisk this together until it's smooth and then we'll pour it on top of our salad. I've whisked our dressing and I'm just pouring that on top of the broccoli salad. And then you'll just toss this together until all of the ingredients are evenly coated. And this is best if you store it in the fridge for a couple of hours before serving so everything can kind of meld together, the flavors will mix well, and you'll want to serve it cold because nobody wants a warm broccoli salad. But easy for feeding a crowd. This will feed about eight people. And it's one of those recipes you can make earlier in the day and then bring to your party when you're ready to eat. We hope you love this loaded broccoli salad as much as we do. So go to SixSistersStuff.com for the recipe.